T and H Manufacturing. Wow, you are incredible. Almost 20 years in business with around 70 machines. We're looking at about 30 YCMs right now. I'm really, really grateful to be able to share this story with you. I really want to learn, with your partnership with Joe Clancy and Clancy Machine, YCM, you have them everywhere. So why YCM? The reason I pick up the YCM machine, number one is that machine is very good for you know running, cut those uh, steel, stainless steel and aluminum. And some of them is plastic as well. And the, I'm very good relationship with Joe Clancy because when the machine down and then he can send the tech right away to Joe shoot. No matter what, how reliable the machine or how good the machine. One day they're gonna down, but the technical we need someone who can turn around and then jump a shoot for us right away. So, YCM, so far we got about 30 of those. We love it. Well, I heard a little birdie tell me that you are one heck of a programmer. And you had a pro you were programming on your own up to about 50 machines, and you recently brought in some more folks for programming to help you continue to expand. That's just a quick shout out to you being an incredible programmer as you grow this company. But let's step back and talk about YCM. There's still stereotypes out there about uh, Taiwanese machine isn't able to cut those harder materials, but you working in the medical world, working in the semiconductor world, you're running some of those harder materials, and these machines are keeping up with both the rigidity and the precision of the required components, aren't they? Yes, they used to think about the YCM back to the day, uh, uh, 19, uh, 2000, and they did think the YCM is not reliable machine and not really good. Back then, they called the name is um, uh, Supermax. Seeing lately, they changed to the YCM until now, the performance machine and the uh, precision machine cut, very good. And then I've been in my life for about 25 years for do programming only. I run a lot of machine different time, but so far we like the YCM. They, we got uh, some of medical component and then also the part, uh, they call out within the flatnet and parallel, couple of ten, we can hit that and it should be no problem. Amazing, and I love how you brought that back around to all your years of programming as well to understand how different machines work and why your investment is so important as your company continues to thrive and grow. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. So I want to bring on Leonard and talk a little bit more about 3-axis and 5-axis because here I see a whole lot of machines running, but I don't see a person at every single machine. We do have a labor shortage, and you've done a wonderful job of combining operations and being able to do more with less operators by able by investing in the five axis. So can we bring Leonard on camera and yeah, talk please. a little bit with him? So Leonard, I'm going to give you more detail with that and also get more information about how we let people run the machine. Well, so. thank you so much for your time. You are an absolutely incredible human being. Thank you. Leonard, thank you for joining me on camera. Wall was incredible when we were talking about the 30 machines you guys have, but about half of those are five axis machines. Right. Now, you're going from three axis, five axis, automation, as I walk around this 50,000 square foot building and the growth is incredible here. Why have you decided to really invest in that five axis technology from YCM? Well, it, it, it comes down to kind of evolution of the entire company, right? We moved into this 50,000 square foot building roughly about three and a half years ago. Before then, it was broken up into two different buildings, and so they evolved, right? They evolved the facility. Uh, the next thing is we're evolving from more of just a core competency machining facility to a turnkey manufacturing company, adding things like sheet metal, building, testing a product. So, you know, the next evolution is obviously going into more uh, machines that can actually run tighter tolerances, uh, multiple operations no longer are needed, right? You run two operations and you got very, very good GD&T output from these machines. And then as you pointed out, uh, less people, right? Less operators, less setup people. So we can actually run a lot more machines uh, with less individuals and we take out a lot of variables, right? Uh, so the, the company being what it is with the tight GD&T, uh, we have to do things that um, are typically, aren't typically asked of, of companies like doing things like uh, control plans, um, doing CPK analysis, and wherever we can take out variables, it just helps us with that CPK data. So going to a five axis where you now have one setup, it cuts the part about 98% really, then all you gotta do is go to the vertical and cut off the, the basically the gripping portion or the, the clamp portion, then you're gonna come out with a lot better, tighter, 
tolerances, and we often deal with things in the tenths, right? Uh, four tenths, five tenths, and the way we're able to do that is by using the five axis capability. A brilliant explanation, Leonard, yeah. truly. I mean, I hear stories like this semi-regularly, right? But it really is so important to convey to the audience out there I personally know how long it takes to set up a machine and then if I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six operations on those many machines as well, how much time it takes just in setup, not even talking about the potential scrap rate to go along with it or how many operators I need. You've seen all of that with the growth here and with 70 plus machines at this point, you've had to really make that strategy important internally, right? This this one and done attitude, This the further we expand away from the vice itself, the, the, the harder the tolerances are to reach, especially if we're doing multiple operations. You've seen all this and adapted to it, haven't you? Correct, yeah, and a lot of our gd &T is actually referring to, they're referencing datums on opposite sides of parts. So if you go to your traditional three axis, you know, you're adding the variables of having to refixture the part and then run two or three or four ops where the five axis is basically gonna do it on one operation, right? And so, the, uh, don't get me wrong, three axis machines are great, right? They're the workhorses, they're, they're the Clydesdales, but uh, sometimes you need a thoroughbred and that thoroughbred is gonna be the five axis YCM. I don't know if I could have, I definitely couldn't have explained it better myself. That was so well said, utilizing a horse analogy as well. Really fantastic. Let's just quickly touch on searching for the right help as well. You know, when it comes to what you've decided, the strategy you've decided to take, and we don't see a person on every machine. With that being said, this is a great company to work for, and you guys are always inviting new talent to come here and work as well, aren't you? Yeah, correct. I mean, obviously, when we grow the company, we have to grow the internal knowledge, right? So we always are looking for bright individuals, people that really want to make a difference. So uh, you can go to work for any company where you're, you're going to have a job, you're going to have a stable job, but you come to TNH, the good thing is that you're, you're actually making a difference, right? We, we allow you to kind of grow, and, and we've often grown people internally into much higher uh, management levels or lead levels, supervisory type levels. So we want to bring in that knowledge, and we want to basically be able to mold it and allow people to contribute, and, and then you know allow them to grow when the opportunities present themselves. To your point, and no jokes whatsoever, literally was just working with the guy before we hit record on these cameras that came from the retail space. So I can firsthand tell you, these folks are hiring people because they're gonna build internally. Just like your manufacturing processes where everything is vertically integrated, you're giving people opportunities as well. So if you guys are interested in working with Leonard and working with Wa, stop by this place in, so in Northern California. I would love to see you here. I know they would as well. The technology, as you can see, is everywhere everywhere and the possibilities are darn near limitless. So I look forward to seeing you here, Leonard. Thank All you right, so thank much you. for your time. No really problem. incredible explanation. Yeah, great, thank you.